I want to do a league winner. See, and see, I I'm, I'm gonna need you to take me to church here because uh, this one. I just keep going back to the well, man. You know, like you you already you already know what I'm going to get to. But guys, let's talk about the league winner in fantasy football. This is one of the best values I think that you can get this year while drafting this week. I've come across them in a bunch of mock drafts late in the game. I've come across them in my first two fantasy drafts late in the game because people are very scared to dance once again with none other than Mr. Slant himself, Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas, people forget, one of the most productive wide receivers we have ever seen in the history of football, multiple seasons in a row, and this man just has a real bad toe. It's a bad toe, man, and the toe, apparently, did you read up on the injury? It's been a wild set of events, so apparently they've been trying to put uh, an implant in his ankle and toe, and his body kept rejecting the actual yeah. like implant possible thing yeah you so ain't he helping your argument it. right now and he's been rehabbing and he's fully healthy and apparently Derek Carr is taking a real liking to him in camp <sighs> i'm back in baby give me give me the x almost mvp round 11 dude last year of his prime i'm telling you he's gonna put one last ride together baby at least a trade <laughs> chip you know he puts a big game together early in the season dude oh no here it comes hello I'll send them up. I'm getting a drug test. League <laughs> office, yep. I mean, Woody, come on. Now you've you've gotten away from this uh, this method of just drafting the has beens, right? You, you know, you, you never wanted to let go of a lot of guys. I can name, you know, quite a few guys right now that just come to mind that you didn't want to let go. You didn't want to just realize that they were done. <laughs> And the key word that you said and everything you said was Michael Thomas was. You said he was, not is, he was. He looked good last year before he got hurt again. Hey, look, bef but you, before he did what? Got hurt again. <laughs> and you know how old Michael Thomas is? 30. Exactly. And 30's not too bad with wide receiver. Oh, it's right at the end. It's right at the end. It's still that number that you don't want, especially when you got a young, pretty young thing, explosive Chris Olave on the other side. Not to mention. I feel like that's going to make it easier. Not to, make mention, it easier? not to mention Michael Thomas coming out. He was he, he was a man amongst boys, but he was a sub for six guy. And now toe injury at 30. I mean, the man's probably running like a four seven eight. He's so big, he's just boxing out dudes on the slide. Oh yeah, you know he'll probably have you. He'll probably get you. Uh, all right, this is his ceiling. Michael Thomas, his ceiling, ninety seven catches, three hundred fifty yards. <laughs> three hundred fifty yards. Average oh. route ran negative two yards. Oh man, I don't, I don't, I don't like it, Woody. I really want to say you might be on to something. The eleventh uh, round, the eleventh round, no. Yeah, I mean, could have traded. You take a fly around eleven. No, nah, yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm saying. That's league winner potential right there. You're looking for guys that, if they pop, you know. See, what do you just okay? You love guys in contract years. You love guys in contract I do. years. But before, show, before, we started recording, before we started recording, before we started recording, you tell you J.K. Dobbins in a contract year, you like it. Michael video. Thomas hasn't earned a penny of his contract since he signed it. Yeah, now he just feels guilty. <laughs> I got, I got to give him something. <laughs> I got to give him but one year. I, look, I think New Orleans can get out of that contract after this year too. So if he doesn't, it's put up or shut up. So. Yeah, no, for real. So since we're on yeah, receivers, real quick, job. I was just it's 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 I can't believe Randall Cobb's still in the league. That's neither here nor there. We can kind of bop it. I can't believe he's yeah, still blows there. my mind, right? Because he's been like sub below average for a couple years, but he's I no, look at Randall Cobb. A couple years, half a decade, he's been he's had <laughs> one one thousand yard season in his career, and yeah. like his last decent year was for a Dallas Cowboy team. They weren't that good. I think he had like 800 yards receiving. And like that was, other than that, every season around that, four or 500 yards receiving. 
It's he's thirty two. Especially it's just weird because in this age, in this in this in this era we in in the NFL, that like they're moving on from guys so much quicker. So much quicker. Like, you know, back in the day, guy play early thirties, even his mid thirties. But now as soon as a guy starts sniffing his thirties, getting rid of him. So it's just true. Because we're seeing a big influx of, I don't think we've ever had more talent in the wide receiver position, especially with athletes coming up, because that is the position to play if you are a I premier agree. athlete. Like, because it's softest on the body in football, probably now, with all the protections from blindside hits and everything. Yeah. And no helmets to helmet. It's like it's a much different position than it was yeah. a few years ago. Like, I, I, would say, I would say that's the case not only at receiver, but also at running back right now. I mean, that's a lot of talent. At, at running back, I mean, guys who are good up and coming. I mean, think about it. You got guys I don't like think we Jonathan have the same Taylor. athletes at running back anymore. But you think you think it's you think they fell off? No, I think they're playing other positions and make more money. That's what I think. No, I I, I like that. I actually really like that because you're probably right. I mean, yeah. I, I, like, why Why you, like, when we were a kid, like, who'd you want to be? You want to be Emmett Smith. You want to be Damian Thomas or Ricky Williams. Like, you want to be the guy toting the ball, put the moves, you know? Yeah. The guys that put the moves on people now are the guys you get in open space. Tyreek Hill and, like, the, the, the NFL's changed. It's tearing, and it's a lot how the NBA went. It was about getting yeah. your playmakers into open space and then allowing them to create with the ball. Football used to be smash mouth down your throat. Now with Andy Reid and like Kyle Shanahan. Well, Kyle Shanahan, his offense is fun because it's a mixture of old school and new school. It's about getting your athletes into space, but it's also about slamming the ball down the right. team's throat. So no, true. that's a nice mixture. But Andy Reid especially. Like how many little dudes does he have running around on the outside? Can't block anybody. But you get them into space, you miss one tackle, they could be the, gone to the house. Like, it's nothing. Blink of an eye. Yeah, it's true.